हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन एफपीजे डिजाइन दिस इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर फ्रेशर्स एज वेल एज इंटरमीडिएट लेवल ऑफ इंजीनियर्स दोज हु आर नॉट वेल अवेयर ऑफ जायलिंग्स आईपी लाइब्रेरीज स्पेशली फॉर डिबगिंग पर्पस नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस सी व्हाट इज इनसाइड दिस वीडियो friends on your screen you are seeing a problem statement where we have a up down counter it has clock as an input count as an output and apart from these two signals we have one more input signal that is called up down signal it selects the up mode or down mode of this counter if we select the up mode this counter will count upward direction that is 0 1 2 3 so on if we choose a down mode with the help of the signal then this counter will count in a reverse direction that is 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 and we want to port this counter design inside a fpga you will think that what is the problem in it you can do it very easily usually engineers map this signal to one of the switch but in our case our fpga board does not have any switch available on it now my question to you is if we don't have any switch available where will you connect this up down counter and you can test your counter design friends you can take your time here you can pause my video here try to think of its answer if you come to know its answer please write it down in the comment section we can discuss it there otherwise i will reveal its answer okay let me reveal its answer friends there is a special ip available from xilinx that is called vio ip vio stands for virtual input and output ip one side of this ip is connected to jtag chain and the other side we can have any number of inputs and output signals that two of any width but in this case we are going to use only output signals because we need to drive up down count signal of this counter and this signal is of only one bit we are not going to use any input signal of this vio ip and this is how we will connect vio ip to this up down counter after placing vio ip inside our system we can generate a bit file and while generating bit file vivado will also generate dot ltx file usually dot ltx file is only generated when we have debugging ips inside our system for example ilas or vio ips in this case we have a vio ip inside our system so vivado will also generate dot ltx file so once dot bit and dot ltx files are generated we can program them through hardware manager that is part of vivado gui only after programming dot bit file and dot ltx file inside our fpga in vivado hardware manager we will get one tab to control this vio ip through that tab we can control this up down signal which is going to up down counter and those who want to see the real demonstration of this vio ip i will create a separate video and once it is created i will share its link in the description section and you can go through it This diagram reveals little bit inside picture of the VIO IP. As I mentioned earlier, also we we can have any number of input probes of different widths. Similarly, we can have output probes of different widths. And on the other side, we have a JTAG connection through debug hub. Friends, with this, I am going to end this session, and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. and in future if you are seeking videos on a particular topics you can mention those topics in the comment section as well and those who have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos as early as possible thank you so much for watching